Anthracnose is a foliar disease affecting a wide variety of plants, from trees to grass to garden and ornamental shrubs. This fungus can defoliate trees, leaving them bare and vulnerable, and can cause large patches of turf grass to brown and die out. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify anthracnose and treat it so your yard can stay green and full. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To buy the products featured in this video or to learn more about anthracnose, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. The term anthracnose actually refers to a group of diseases that affect their host plants in similar ways. Different types of anthracnose are actually caused by different pathogens. An anthracnose disease affecting a tree won't be able to spread to affect turf grass, and vice versa. Anthracnose generally looks like irregularly shaped lesions on the leaves of the affected plant. In fruit-bearing plants, lesions can also form on the fruits themselves. These lesions can look like small, brown, or black spots where the fungus is growing, and in some cases it can cause holes to form right through the leaf. These holes are very irregularly shaped with brown or yellow edges, making them distinguishable from pest damage, which usually has some identifiable pattern. Younger developing leaves are more vulnerable to disease development than older leaves. In severe cases in trees, defoliation can occur where large numbers of heavily infected leaves fall from the tree earlier in the season than expected. Some trees may even form cankers, sunken areas with swollen edges. Anthracnose of turf grass can look different depending on the time of year. During the cooler months, the disease will look similar to anthracnose of trees and other leafy plants. The blades will yellow and wilt while black spots form towards the base of the grass. During the warmer months, the disease will look similar to other patch-forming lawn diseases as you'll find large patches of brown grass. Anthracnose is commonly mistaken for other diseases like wilts. To tell anthracnose from a wilting disease, note that anthracnose only affects spots or portions on the leaf, where a wilting disease will cause whole leaves to crumple and droop. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. If you suspect your plants are being affected by anthracnose, check all plants on your property and note any signs of disease development. Anthracnose can affect grass, landscaping plants, potted plants, flowers, fruits and vegetables, shrubbery, and trees. In turf, disease development is encouraged when the grass is stressed from low nitrogen, compacted soil, drought, or insect activity. Also, note how much leaf litter or other organic debris your property may be holding as these can act as catalysts for the spread of the fungus. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of anthracnose, you'll need to use a fungicide like Patch Pro. Patch Pro is a systemic fungicide that contains the active ingredient propiconazole and is used to treat and prevent a wide variety of lawn and ornamental diseases, like brown patch or leaf spot. Keep in mind that Patch Pro is only labeled to treat anthracnose in turf grass and in certain trees. Do not apply Patch Pro to fruit or vegetable-bearing plants grown for consumption. To treat anthracnose in lawns, you'll apply the labeled rate of 2 fluid ounces of Patch Pro per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. If you're making a preventative application, you can apply 1 fluid ounce per 1,000 square feet. We recommend using a 20-gallon hose end sprayer to apply Patch Pro since you'll be making a large volume treatment so the product reaches the turf's roots. Before you start, you'll need to get your lawn square footage by multiplying its length by its width. Use this area to figure out how much product you'll need. Remove the reservoir from the nozzle. Make sure the sprayer's control valve and your water pump are off, then attach the nozzle to the hose. Add the proper amount of Patch Pro, then add the proper amount of water. The product will mix with the water and create an even emulsion. Double check to make sure your control valve and water pump are still off, then reattach the water to the reservoir. Once you've ensured a tight connection, you can now turn the water on. To spray, push forward on the control valve. To stop, simply pull the valve back into the off position. Apply Patch Pro as a broadcast application over your entire lawn, making sure to evenly distribute the amount of spray dilution. Keep an eye on the product's level in the reservoir and keep your pace consistent. To treat anthracnose in dogwood or ornamental walnut trees, you'll need to conduct a full coverage application of the tree's leaves with 2 to 12 fluid ounces of Patch Pro in 100 gallons of water or a smaller equivalent proportion. To treat anthracnose in sycamore trees, conduct a flare root injection with a rate of 10 milliliters of Patch Pro in up to 1 liter of water per inch in diameter at breast height, or DBH. 
Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied fungicides, the best way to stop lawn disease is to make sure it can't happen. To stop anthracnose from coming back, you'll first need to rake your lawn and pick up any organic debris. The anthracnose fungus can survive in fallen leaves and other debris. The fungus on these leaves will then produce spores in cool, moist weather, which will then spread by wind or rain. You may also want to prune away and dispose of affected leaves or branches still on the tree. Once the lawn's been cleaned, the most effective way to protect your lawn from diseases and fungi is to maintain its health and keep it strong. By taking proper care of your grass, it's more capable of fighting off lawn disease when it comes around, thus halting the spread of the disease. Be sure to mow your grass to the proper height and water your lawn properly. Adjust your mower so your grass comes out 3 to 4 inches tall, and water your lawn once a week in the morning with 1 to 1.5 inches of water per week. These will create much stronger roots in your grass, which is necessary for your lawn to grow strong and resistant. Another way to boost your lawn's health is to fertilize it properly. When shopping for a fertilizer, pay attention to the product's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium content, or the NPK ratio, and pick one that will keep your lawn's contents at appropriate levels. Finally, be sure to keep up with regular applications of Patch Pro. Fungicides operate best as preventative applications. To protect your lawn from anthracnose, make a preventative application with one fluid ounce of product applied over 1,000 square feet once every 14 to 28 days. Anthracnose is a common lawn and ornamental disease that can kill grass or cause trees to defoliate, but there are ways to control an infection that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop anthracnose from overtaking your plants, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.